Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader video review. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to check out the top 5 comic book reading apps for the Blackberry Playbook. We got Comics by Comicsology, Dark Horse, Manga Reader 2, Mango, Marvel Comics. Now, obviously none of these apps, including DC Comics, which didn't make our top 5 list, they're not on Blackberry World. Well, Blackberry, you know, has not bothered to include these apps into their official ecosystem, whereas apps.goodyreader.com we have over 3,000 apps much akin to this we have probably the best apps in the world well, well Blackberry World mainly just has like a lot of trash they have over 100,000 apps but most of them are terrible so these apps can be installed via side loading and if you're interested in learning how to install your own apps to the Blackberry playbook please look at the description of this YouTube video will include a link that will teach you exactly how to sideload apps in, give you access to the software, and have a number of video tutorials to instruct you along the way. The first app we're going to look at is Comics by Comixology. Takes a second to load up. So this is the home screen. You see new releases and featured stuff up top. Nice, Sonic and Mega Man. Uh, scrolling down, you'll see headers telling you what's going on, noteworthy, digital firsts, so forth. Click on something, you get a picture of what the cover looks like, a little bit of an info, summary, screenshots, rating systems, and more in common and people also liked. So very extensive. Yes, indeed. And there's a number of free content through there. You can see that Walking Dead issue was, you know, free. Yep. And um, just added, popular. It's uh, very intuitive. Um, things obviously take a bit of time to load because of just the, the image-heavy content that's there. But um, one thing about Comixology, which is very cool, is that it really has a lot of comics from different companies. You can see that it had stuff from uh, DC... It had stuff from uh, from Marvel, Archie, uh, a ton of other type of stuff. So we're just going to download an issue here. So we're going to click Read Now. Gives you a little bit of a tutorial on how to do that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So you can see the colors are very nice. Orange is kind of pop. Pinching and zooming is very fluid, very easy. You can really hone in on those uh, hard to read areas. Go into panel view. You can see the, the guided view actually looks better in landscape mode. Right, you can see how a lot of these are landscape oriented. Yeah, reading with guided view, which is what Comixology calls the mode that we're in now, doesn't really look great in portrait mode. And traditionally, comics look the best in portrait mm -hmm. mode. But I, I really found, especially with the playbook, is that landscape mode will give you the best experience if you're taking advantage of guided view mode exclusively. And there you go. And then you can pinch and zoom to get out or double tap to get out to back to the full page. One of the things that Comixology does very well, which pretty well makes this our number one app in terms of the one that we both like, is the ability to uh, store everything in the cloud. So uh, if I have an iPad at home, anything I purchase will just be attached to my Comixology account that I can just download to my playbook. I don't ex exclusively have to just buy things via the playbook, but everything's compatible with Android via the web and everything like that. So the next app worth that we're going to look at is quickly becoming our number two favorite, which is Dark Horse Comics. Now, Dark Horse is a weird one because some menus only work in landscape and other menus only work in portrait mode. So you can see here that this is our main comic book, what we have on the system. But if you want to, say, look at the store and see you know, what's available here, it only works in uh, portrait mode. Which is a little strange because they have designed some menus to work in both, which is a little bit strange. Yeah, as you can see, it's it's panoramic view, uh, a little scroll bar here, 99 cent comics. 
But you can see things like Buffy, Aliens vs. Predator, stuff like that. We can click on New and kind of get like a full list of the new content that's come out. And now you see it kind of shoves you back to landscape. Here's everything, Avatar, Astro Boy, so forth. Prices are on the right. If we click on something, you get the little thumbnail there, description, how many pages it is, and a little bit of a cast. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what the comic experience looks like. And we've downloaded and purchased a book. Star Wars. So, wow, look at that. Looks really good. That looks really good. The colors are very crisp. Very so, cool. as you could see, instead of, you know, there's a lot happening on this one page. Looks pretty good. Of course, you can pinch and zoom. One thing about all the new Star Wars stuff is the art is like very current because a lot of the stuff was just made in the last few years. Story arcs are pretty good as well. So if you're a fan of Star Wars, you just kind of like quickly gesture to the side to change pictures or the change panels rather. Definitely very different art. Yeah. So, I mean, the one kind of cool thing about Dark Horse is uh, this app only works on the playbook. It actually does not work on the Z10. I mean, the app loads, but it won't actually let you download comics. Whereas with the playbook, it lets you both fire up the app and download comics. So, um, if you're looking for an alternative to the, you know, the superhero capes and heroes type of thing uh, take a look at Dark Horse there's a lot of funky unique stuff happening uh, within this ecosystem that you may kind of like and as you can see I think we've made about 40 purchases <laughs> from it so we're a big fan uh, next app that we're gonna look at is diving into manga So you can see here a lot of different languages, Spanish, Italian, I'm um, assuming Indonesian, Russian, uh, German, Vietnamese and all that. So we're going to click on some English content. And you can see here a very, very, very long and extensive list of different mangas. And, and it's all for free. Yes. And you can see we're not even past A. <laughs> yeah. and. So we're just going to stop on something and see what we can see. Maybe we'll choose something else. You don't like Angel Wars? Yeah. It looks, I don't know. Let's go list chapters. Yeah, a lot of the manga is probably not safe for work. Right definitely a different experience reading manga and reading uh, the traditional comic books. Okay, so speaking of that, I noticed you're flipping. Right. Um, traditionally, manga, well, started in Japan, so it comes from Japan, which they read right to left, and they write right to left and all that kind of stuff, so um, maybe we'll choose a different one, because this one has a lot of 404s not found. Because this, uh, the, the thing about the manga readers is that it actually is um, reading from the internet, so it's yeah. not really downloading directly to your. I think device. the 404 is li what, you're, what you're seeing when a page has not fully loaded right. yet. And you can see that majority of manga, I, I don't know, maybe I would say safely 90%, it will be in black and white. So very rarely will you see a lot of colored mangas. Yeah. So, I mean, this app's pretty solid in terms of. It gives you a copious amount of manga, um, and only through like a few services. I think one of the most endearing facets behind this is uh, the support for foreign languages, um, and a lot of other manga services pretty well only cater to either an exclusive Japanese audience or to an English audience. Whereas this one kind of appeals to um, most of the huge population centers: Germany, you know, Russia. Uh, 
Canada, things like that. So um, there's a lot of content here. If you swipe down, you should be able to see the bar popping up at the bottom there and a couple other features on top. So you can see some settings here. You can check out the way that you want to order chapters. You can change and lock the orientation. So memory caches, see some feedback, stuff like that. Uh, continuing on the manga trend, we're going to look at uh, the other one that we have here, which mm -hmm. is called Mango. Roughly the same idea here. You can see here, you have to get past all this and then you can go and browse. So we can skip these prompts. Okay, look at all of the different sites that has access to. And this is mainly English type stuff. And each one of these has countless mangas. So let's just skip past all this. And we'll go to genre. For the sake of this review, we're not going to choose all because... <laughs> we did that by mistake before and it seriously loaded up thousands. So once again, this is just the action genre and you can see the sheer amount of content. It's just and this is just the insane. titles and each one may have oh, like yeah. 100 issues, 50 issues or more. Exactly. You look at something like uh, Bleach or Nautero or something like that, and um, you can just see that it has a ton of stuff. You could actually save to library too, which is kind of a cool thing. Um, the other one was just reading in the cloud. This one's like you can kind of just save in your library. So you can see here, once again, a lot of uh, portrait-only screens that they have. So for the sake of this, let's just go back. Looks like we have to go through the prompts here. Teaches you to s swipe left to right. Can't really skip anything, unfortunately. And then we'll finish the... And then finish we're back him. to this. <laughs> so well, luckily we... you only see these prompts like once. <laughs> so now we'll start swiping. Not my favorite app, only because a lot of the things are only geared towards portrait and some are landscape, and then you get into stuff like this because you're not downloading the comic onto your device. You get a lot of down now downloading page five, downloading page six, and all that. So, so we'll swipe and get into some actual content. Here we go. Yeah, so that white screen that we're looking at wasn't just loading. There was a small image in the center of the screen. Right. So you can see downloading page 10. Now we're into the actual manga, and once again, it is black and white. Most manga is. So it's, it's all right. Um, I, I kind of like reading things that are just already downloaded onto the device that I don't have to wait for kind of thing. But, I mean, it's not the end of the world. You still do have the content. And, I mean, the just the massive volume of options you get with this app is just you'll never be able to read it all yeah you'd be dead before you could read it all it, it's sort of like the thing where if you're a fan of a few specific series or you just want to engage in content discovery there's a ton of free content here so you can perma just discover new things and then uh, find you know series that ha actually have you know 50 chapters 100 chapters a thousand in some cases with the really long standing ones and then you can kind of get into the ones that obviously are updated very often or just are held in very high regard uh, manga is one of those things where it's like there's constantly new stuff, there's web comics transitioning to like print and things like that, so uh, it's, it's cool. And these are the two apps that are pretty well our favorites and uh, pretty well the only good ones you'd want to install on your playbook. One of the last ones that we're going to look at today is Marvel Comics. It is powered by Comixology, but this just pretty well features only exclusive Marvel properties. So if you're into all the movies that are coming out this summer, the Wolverine, uh, Captain America, like Thor. Well, maybe Thor's out this year and Captain America next year. 
I can never keep up with all this and stuff. And now they're up to Iron Man 3. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, coming out this summer. Just, it's he, a good summer to be, like, a hero. <laughs> so you can see that this is some of the comics that we uh, have purchased, and now we're actually downloading one now. So it's all indexed pretty pro easily. I noticed the, the gestures get in the way of a lot of the reading gestures. Like when you're trying to turn a page, you end up swiping from the right and taking it away. When uh, Michael was just trying to scroll, he minimized it. Yeah. So I find on BlackBerry devices, the gestures on the bezel of the device actually get in the way a lot of what you're trying to read. I agree. I think mainly because these are Android ports. Yeah. And so they maintain that sort of Android way of interacting with things. And it's contrary to the BlackBerry right. way of handling things. Because on Android, swiping from the left, right, or bottom doesn't really do much in most cases. It's really only swiping from the top. So, It's true. So, so I think this, this really comic nice. actually just came out a few days ago, like on Wednesday. That's so hopefully if you're not looking for any spoilers... Oh yeah, uh, oh no! <laughs> we won't go too deep into the issue. Yeah, well I mean, it's you can see again that it does look pretty good in landscape mode, whereas in port you know, you, you can see these frames were made for landscape. But then certain ones look only good. But if you go to the guided view, I think, by just double tapping... It looks great. Yeah. So this is probably the guided view is the way that you want to read in landscape mode. So Marvel Comics, of course, there's lots of settings and options here. For animate transitions, you could turn off guided view, turn off letterboxing if you want to, and then click on the back. Of course, you can just browse individual pages if you wanted to. I so, always like the way they did this because you can really get a sense of what's what's on that page. Lots of explosions in this picture. That's a nice picture. Yeah, so you can really kind of see the 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 colors and stuff like that. They they pop, and I think that with the playbook, obviously it wouldn't be the first device that you would think of when you think of I need to buy something that reads comics, just because BlackBerry World does not offer any or hardly any comic book read apps. If they do the indie written apps, they're not like official things from Marvel, yes. Comixology, uh, Dark Horse, you know, uh, Image, you know, things like that. You have to do the dirty work and, and port them yourselves. Whereas with Goody Reader, we pretty well find the best working versions out of all the different iterations that they've ever released. And then we find the best one that works the best on Playbook and BB10, and then we host them on our site. So you've taken a look at our top five in terms of comic book reading apps with manga apps thrown in. Too. Uh, do you agree with our list or do you have uh, better suggestions? Please leave a comment on this video and check out all of our other videos at youtube.com slash goodyreader and don't forget to visit our app store with 16,000 Android apps and 3,000 Blackberry apps at apps.goodyreader.com and for Goody Reader, my name is Michael. And my name is Peter. Everybody take care.